Welcome to the module of uh, practice and rank, uh, principles and practice of banking, module C, unit 32. Role of technology, upgradation and its impact on banks. The objectives of the uh, module uh, unit are understand the trends of IT, concepts of DWH, data warehousing and data mining, new delivery channels and products, concepts of EDI, electronic data exchange, impact of IT and organizational behavior, impact of IT and HR, training needs and data privacy. The advancements of uh, and availability of new technology is being enthusiastically absorbed by the banks for innovation of in devising new products, new services and service delivery mechanisms, GUI, graphic user interface based uh, delivery system uh, based interfaces, interactive accesses, analyzing, analyzing the heterogeneous data for various trend analysis, quality and quality of decisions, support systems and uh, for, uh, forecast the business requirements, meet the regulatory provisions in time, etc. or these uh, new challenges that have been embraced, uh, uh, that have been uh, ad addressed by this new upgradation of the technology. The technology in banking industry is moving towards the cyber banking leading to a cashless society with the pro products like uh, e-purses, e-wallet, etc. And other advancements are data message, data and message transfer, EDI, electronic data, electronic emails, corporate websites, MIS, management information systems, transforms data into information with timely, accurate, consistent data and relevant data for the decision support. Impacts of technology can be on organization, it will be for efficiency, decision making, etc. For the customers, it is their, their services, delivery and quality, commodity, uh, commoditizing the final uh, financial services, personal is the job content, job security and uh, authority dilution, data in the custody of the bank, data privacy, individual rights and privileges about the personal information that has been held by the banks. Data warehousing is one of the technologies which talks about huge data, heterogeneous data that has been received by the bank through its uh, normal operational uh, uh, processing of the business processing. The data is uh, transformed into uh, meaningful information through use of various technologies like uh, data warehouse, data mining, which gives the uh, results as uh, right output at the right time with relevant data to the management to have their decision, um, properly, proper decision making with the support of this data. In the present information age, where almost everything is seen as technically possible, provided there is a commitment to the objective and that sufficient resources are available, there, are, there is increasing demand for a hard information relating to the issues where traditionally qualitative information is used for used to be available this falls in the way in the newly developing discipline uh, business intelligence the two technologies data warehousing and data mining are uh, possible technical solutions for the issue of uh, issue relating to these providing business information and uh, to an organization The growing need for the information and knowledge has come about the, because of the extensive and rapid continuing changes in the business environment. Present scenario characterized by the perceptions like facing the competition from the new competitors have now to take the notice of pressure, pressure groups and minority shareholders. The world is more aware of the fact by the nature and most resources are finite. Customers tend to be much better informed than they used to be and have many more choices competing against the other organizations who are using knowledge and information as a competitive weapon. In organizations there, is, there is still exists enormous divide that separates the information technology and management's need for knowledge and information. Sources of data and information from, the, from which the organization must derive 
its knowledge lies both within and with outside the organization. Within the organization, the data and information will reside primarily in legacy databases and will be available in other systems and uh, procedures of organization like its business practices, various departmental methods, its know-how and intra-organizational intra interfaces, etc. The only then the optimum use of the resources can be made by an organization for its business strategies. Some of the, some of the sources where important information about the organization are found from the customers, what they think about the organization, what they want, how they, how they see the organization as a provider of services, both materially and psychologically. The employees, what they know, their uh, perceptions about the organization, the legacy systems, the actual data, information and knowledge that flows through the organization try, uh, try this business environment. Uh, understanding these systems, the transaction processing systems, management information systems, decision support systems, expert systems. These are the new technologies that help the organization to counter the challenges, understand the uh, business needs, understand the customer needs, understand the environment in which they work. These are the four major tools uh, that technology enabled them. Online transaction pro uh, processing, OLTP, refers to immediate automated responses to the customer uh, requirement requires, requests, designed to handle multiple current transactions, plays a large role in electronic commerce applications, handles vast amount of data but little importance to the managers, automate handling data, automate handling of data about business activities, data validated and stored for later aggregation, usually provides a standard summarization of uh, transactions, Summaries, summarizes the data often useful. Management information system, which is called MIS in short, takes relative raw data through TPS transaction processing systems and converts it into meaningful aggregated form, needed mostly by managers to conduct their responsibilities, calls for good understanding of what kind of information the managers require. Many managers do not know what the information they need, so it helps in uh, providing the right information to them. Often depends on TPS, uh, how the TPS is handled, what kind of reports are generated, what kind of uh, management information system is required. This all depends on the TPS system. And decision support system is DSS again, designed for decision makers. Unlike uh, MIS, which provides summary of data, it provides the interactive environment, enables the decision makers to quickly manipulate the data and models, uh, models of business operations. Composed of database like uh, TPS and MIS, user interfaces, uses scenarios like what if conditions, and development of DSS does not follow the formal project, uh, project plan, but rather prototype and then iterative development of the mechanisms followed, the, whereby the uh, manager can uh, have a flow of uh, prototypes and then see what scenario can be emerged out of that uh, decision support system. Expert systems are uh, little advanced than uh, DSS systems, attempts to codify and manipulate knowledge rather than the information. If then else, situation is also uh, framed and then rules are uh, uh, understood. Provides expert advice by asking users a sequence of questions depend on the prior awareness. Provides uh, for recommendations of the recommendation conclusions also. Let us sum up, after understanding this uh, entire uh, sector, model, unit 32, let us sum up that uh, in the IT in banking enabled environment, competition among banks is can be uh, properly designed and uh, understood. New opportunities of uh, renovation of services and products can be highlighted and uh, taken advantage from the technology that has been employed. Impact of organ structure, customers, personal data, etc. can be understood by data available from the restructuring of the data or uh, cull culling out the information from the raw data that is available. Need for training and awareness and uh, retention of the skilled personnel uh, by providing more job knowledge, job security and understanding their needs and understanding, uh, understanding their environments and weaknesses, etc. Identifying the critical factors for successful uh, uh, success of using the IT. 
this this brings us the close to the unit 32 and thank you very much